All right, fine, 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 fine. I'll say it. I kind of like Alima. What's up, YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to another Pokemon Sun and Moon anime review, this time of episode number 66, titled Smashing with Sketch, the Fierce Pokey Ping Pong Match. Now, last week, we saw an episode where we were introduced to Alima for the first time in the anime. Alima's been in the Kalos region doing who knows what. Well, now we might know what. But anyway, uh, has been in the Kalos region and is now visiting back in Alola to collect his EVMZ. He introduced the group to Pokey Dive, where they, apparently they just take whatever they want to and put the word Pokey in front of it. And that's an event here in the Pokemon world. We even found a new one of those today. And Team Scroll eventually confronted the group, confronted Alima for stealing their women. And we get to see all of the evolutions in a pretty awesome looking Z move. In today's episode, we were again another Alima focused episode and we got to see, as I said, another Pokey event. If you checked out today's episode, let me know your favorite part in the comments down below and let me know anything that you might miss. Towards the end of this episode, I have a little bit of a theory that we're going to throw in, but let's get straight to it. Today's episode starts off in class where they're going to be learning about Pokey Ping Pong. As we said, another event with this Pokey thing in front of it. Let's take everything. When's Pokey basketball? When is Pokey... When is Pokey... I did this last time. When, uh, when are they going to have a Pokey water contest? Or uh, when are they going to go... I don't know. They're just throwing Pokey in front of anything that they can at this point. This one was even a little better than last time. But Alima is going to be the special teacher. As we said, Alima is still here in the, from the Kalos region visiting. And as we learned during this episode, Alima is a Pokey Ping Pong champion and is here to for, for this year's Pokey Ping Pong tournament that happens later on. Alima goes through explaining all the rules of ping pong to the group and actually a pretty legit ping pong explanation. I play ping pong myself, so I know most of the rules and went through it pretty quick and pretty great. Uh, Lana volunteers to to play against the Lima because, you know, Lana is just that meme of a character that you can just throw her in. She's like, yep, I play ping pong all the time. And they go back and forth. The Lima winds up using his Smeargle in this episode, which is really cool. The Smeargle that the first time I played through Sun and Moon destroyed me. I was not expecting that freaking thing to have the op or to have the super effective move against my starter. Nice touch, Game Freak. That's where the intro ran. Uh, and as we said, this episode title Smashing with Sketch. The Fierce Pokey Ping Pong match. So we knew that Sketch was going to play some role. We saw Smeargle. You can imagine what happens there. But the actual episode begins off with all the kids practicing against each other. Pikachu is going for Iron Tail. And we saw the same animation three times in the episode. But Iron Tail's the ball right into Ash's face. Hits him twice, square in the face. I guess Pikachu just doesn't really get it. Um, Sophocles sucks. What's new? Um, Togedemaru gets mad at him. I always like seeing them suffer. Alima then comes over and explains, hey, the most important thing about Pokey Ping Pong, you guessed it, the link between Pokemon and Trainer. And goes on to explain the difference between attacking and defending and that each trainer should try their own thing. So they start doing practice matches. First up is Ash and Pikachu versus Mallow and Steenie. And Mallow's just destroying them and comes up with this, this strategy to use Magical Leaf, but it's also partially Sweet Scent. So it puts Pikachu into a lull and they wind up winning. Lily and Vulpix versus Sophocles and Togedemaru was the meme battle. They were just going, you could see it there in their faces. They, it was just terrible, but Lily wound up winning. And then the main event. It happened pretty early on. The main event in the episode some might not say it was the main event, but it was certainly my favorite part. And that is Kiawe and Marowak versus Lana and Paplio. It starts off Kiawe, you know, Kiawe does his thing. Kiawe is like the comedic relief of the entire group. And he throws his shirt off, getting all fired up. And the shirt lands on Marowak and Marowak's like, I can't see, I can't see. Lana then gets all meme with it and you see Lana doing that. Uh, and you see a wave behind her, so they start f they start going at each other, and Kiawe starts off and does a 
does a dynamic flame serve where he throws the ball up and activates his Z power and we see him spin around and I can't spin around. Hold on, yes I can. He spins around, ah! spins around and it's a fake. And the ball just barely bounces across. And Lana, oh, oh, Lana dives for it and barely catches it. And they go back and forth and they're using Shadow Bone, they're using Aqua Jet, they're using uh, Iron Head. And then Lana comes up, comes up and, and goes for her Z move and hits the Super Aqua Tornado. And it was also a fake. And it, so she, she barely hit it over. And everyone's like, oh, Lana's gonna win the point. Lana's gonna win the point. But Marowak throws the bone and saves the point. And they keep going back and forth. And Lana was waiting for him to save it. Lana gets um, gets Poplio to use a huge whirlpool that knocks the ball straight past Kiawe and Marowak. So they're sitting there, you know, in their defeat. You've seen Marowak in defeat before. We stomp in the ground and he's upset. And Lana peeks over the table and goes, actually, you won that point because it didn't hit in. Absolutely hilarious. My favorite part of the episode by far. After these practice battles, Alima invites everyone to the tournament that's going to be happening this weekend. When it gets there, we're, we, you know, we assume uh, Alima was the winner last time because that's just how it typically works. Well, not, not, not quite. Alima was the runner up to someone named Ikari. Uh, apparently it's Ikari the Dragon. Kiawe and Sophocles seem to know about this guy and we see Ikari and Olima talking with each other and Ikari's a jerk and he's putting down Olima and Olima says I entered this tournament just to defeat you and that's where the first commercial runs and we get to see the first round for both of these guys and Ikari is using a Mian Shao as his partner I can't remember a time where Mian Shao was featured in the anime so it was nice to see not one of my favorite Pokemon admittedly you won't see too many fifth gen Pokemon on my top uh, in my top list um, but a pretty cool pretty cool to see it in this um, but after Mian Shao wins the point for Ikari he scolds Mian Shao and he's like that wasn't good enough you got to put it in the corner next time that's not good enough and he's just that kind of a jerk Alima's first opponent winds up being Team Rocket it's actually Jesse and Wobbuffet and they had a pretty good strategy here the ball gets hit to Wobbuffet and Wobbuffet used counter to knock it back this is where we see our first instance of Sketch, where Smeargle starts using Sketch and they counter back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Meow Jesse starts to get tired and Meowth presses a button on his little charm and it shines a light in Alima's face and Alima starts to get distracted but because he's one with Ping Pong, he hears the ball bounce and swings for it and hits it back. And then Meowth goes, now's your turn and turns towards Jesse and Jesse gets hit with the light. They lose the point. Beware then drops down in the sky, or j drops down from the ceiling, picks them all up, jumps back out, and everyone everyone stares at the ceiling just trying to figure out what in the world just happened. Alima and Ikari have made their way to the finals, where of course they're going to be facing each other. We knew this was going to happen, but he goes on. Ikari, every single time he talks about the team, he always says, I'm going to defeat you, I'm going to defeat you. And Alima really doesn't like that. Alima's like, how come you don't say we? How come you never credit your Pokemon, who's literally doing half of the work, if not more than half of the work? Alternatively, Alima is seemingly going out of his way to, to acknowledge his Pokemon, to tell them how good they're doing. Towards the beginning of the match after losing a point by his own mistake He has his paddle out Akadi has his paddle out and the ball bounces off his paddle and they lose He yells at Mian Shao putting him down again The match proceeds on and in deuce that means they're tied at 10-10 They have to win by two points Alima wins the point giving him an advantage one more point and he's won the match And you guessed it Akadi again yells at Mian Shao at this point, Alima had had enough and begins to lecture him, which of course he doesn't appreciate, and launches this super fast serve, and they go back and forth. And this final point, perhaps the most drawn out point of the match, we see Mian Shao starting with a drain punch that gets sketched, and then he uses a high jump kick, launching the ball straight at Alima. It does hit the table, so it's in. Alima's about to get hit by it. And Smeargle knocks it back, jumps in the way and knocks it back, this time heading straight at Ikari. 
and actually breaks his paddle that he's holding and Mian Shao just jumps in front of it and saves it. However, he had to catch the ball. He couldn't just hit it back for some reason. So when he lands, he's looking up at Akari and he looks really scared because he knows he's about to get yelled at. But Ilima has won the tournament. As they shake hands, thanking each other for the match, Ilima apologizes for speaking out of line and Akari says, something, 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 we will beat you next time. Finally understanding what Alima has been telling him and acknowledging his Mian Chao that he has, puts his hand on top of Mian Chao's head and they all are happily ever after. As the episode ends, Alima does head back for the Kalos region, which is good for us, that means no more Alima. But wait a second. This is the theory that I wanted to talk about at the end of this episode. Last episode, we heard Kukui say something. He was sitting with Oak and Alima, and he said something about wanting to build a Pokemon League. Well, as we know in the Pokemon games, you, as you're playing through it, are the first champion. Does that mean that Ash is going to wind up being the first champion of the Alola League and will take on the Elite Four? Will Alima be one of the Elite Four? Because Kukui asked Alima if he would participate in it. I, I would, let me say this, I would love to see that. I would love to see Ash finally win. We're going to need some rivals. It's not just going to work to have like Kiawe or whatever. We're going to need some rivals, Gladion, etc, etc. We're going to need some more characters to come around that can make that interesting. But I would really love to see that. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. Now, the preview for the next episode was pretty wild because it starts off with Poi Pol. We're finally getting another Poi Pol episode, which means this will finally be another episode that is story related. So the things in it are important. Poi Pol has lured Pikachu away. I think they're just going. They didn't seem to be in any trouble, but I'm sure Team Rocket will be around somewhere. Speaking of, we do see Pikachu versus Mimikyu. And we see that Poi Pol takes Ash's Z-Ring off of him and flies around with it. I don't think there's really too much to that other than Poi Pol making the connection there because I think we know that Poi Pol will be around for quite a while. So that's it. That was the episode. I really enjoyed it. My favorite part would have been the, um, the Kiawe and Lana match because it was just meme after meme. It was pretty hilarious. Let me know what your favorite part was in the comments down below. And we'll see you next week for the next review. Until then, spread some positivity, be the light, and have a blessed day.